breaking on stationary objects was really our claim to fame when we brought out assurance. We were the first ones to do it. The original 2.0, we have two brake values, a partial and a full you'll hear us talk about. The original 2.0 was just partial braking. This tractor is weighted, we're at about 75 gross. Um, but 2.0 with partial braking at 80,000 pounds, drum brakes, good weather, about 20 miles an hour is what we could bring to a stop on a stationary object. With 4.0, which you've also been exposed to, it, it doubled. We were able to go from partial braking to full braking on stationary objects. We could do about 40 miles an hour. With 5.0, above a certain speed, we're able to use or fuse the radar signals and the camera signals to the point where about 50 miles per hour we can stop 80,000 pounds on a stationary object. For the purposes of what we're going to do right now, I'm going to stay about 35 miles an hour okay. just because it's a little bit more fun for you uh, to experience it that way. Okay. I'll stay, um, I'll just stay on the pedal, I'll put my feet on the floor uh, when we get into that cone range. So no cruise. No cruise. Um, you'll hear the the acoustic warning, that's the first second, the second second you'll feel us go into partial, and the third second you'll feel us, feel us go into full. Um, if we were above a certain speed, like plus uh, 37, 38 miles an hour, and we're able to use the camera and the radar, it affords us the ability to shorten the partial braking window and elongate the full braking window, which is how we achieve decelerating higher speed. It's not that we start earlier, it's that we break more aggressively earlier in the cascade. Make sense? You guys ready? <laughs> Very, very good.